letters, pull them off, and form its own alphabet by it. So each letter matches, like alphabetically, like it's the same font style. That's style. And um, we also are very symmetrical in Chicago. So that's the balance. So what you see going on on one side, you want the same weight on the other. It doesn't exactly have to mirror, but weight wise, it has to feel the same weight on one side as on the other. So you don't want like three arrows on this side feeling all heavy and then one arrow on that side because then it throws the balance off. And then style, balance, and flow, meaning that the letters have to look like they got movement to them, like they're coming off the wall. They could be looking like they're running, trumping, uh, whatever, but they got to have some sort of movement to them. And that's how these letters are. You see them going uh, like this. So the movement's going in this direction. So we got style, balance, and flow. Um, and also, we keep things like in Chicago, we don't necessarily throw the, the top parts way over here and the bottom part, the part of Chicago style is almost like it looks like it's in a box. It almost looks like it's in, it's created in a box pattern and we work within a, like a box. So that's kind of how, how Chicago style looks. This particular piece, it was, uh, I drew it out in 1993. So it was an old piece because we just wanted to go back. So it's an old piece done with old style techniques. So we didn't try to incorporate anything new. And we, we absolutely know, I know how to incorporate new techniques into a piece, but we purposely made this one look old. So people like the younger writers nowadays could see how we painted, you know, 20, 30 years ago and see how it looks different from what they do now to kind of give them more of a, a foundational feel. Like they could say, okay, we have roots in Chicago. We didn't just, you know, we don't just have letters appear out of nowhere, but we have a foundational roots behind it. And hopefully they can incorporate that into their work today. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you.